The Amazon rainforest is the largest rainforest in the world. It stretches a total of 4,225 miles from the peak of the Andes to the beautiful beaches of Brazil. It is estimated that there are 390 billion trees, 40,000 plant species, and thousands of birds, mammals, and reptile species as well. Around 500 indigenous tribe call the Amazon rainforest home. This isn't your typical travel guide. It is a look at life in the Amazon, its rich biodiversity, and deep spiritual and sacred connection to the Amazon River. Remember, the Amazon is nothing without its people, and their sacred land must be protected at all costs. Alright guys, I am in Bogota. Last night we landed from Cartagena to Bogota at around 12 a.m. and I'm flying down south to Leticia, Colombia. That's where I will be going on the Amazon rainforest excursion. <laughs> My name is Erickson, but everybody knows me like Gato. And welcome to Leticia. Gracias. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And it's packed in rain. Yeah. So yeah, get ready. Yes, okay. it's a dry season. Normally it starts in May. October, October is our dry, dry season. November it starts to rain. Leticia, the, the, the capital of the Amazon in Colombia. We share the land with Brazil. Yep. If you cross the Amazon River in the front, we have Peru. Yeah. See. How many people live here in Leticia? Between 48 and 50,000. Okay. So we are here at a restaurant. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be eating, but my guide, Erickson, he just ordered me something with chicken and soup. Yeah, I, had to, I did not bring a rain pants. So we had to go get myself some rain pants. So well, I went there and got this for like $5, and then came here. I'm gonna eat something, and then we're gonna go ahead to the boat. And then we're going from Leticia to our um, home state place. Es un sopa de... Sopa de sancocho. Plátano. Oh. Plátano. Plátano, papa. Hueso de res. Oh, is it rico? Oh. I'm not sure why I'm eating a hot soup in a 100 degree weather, but you know, you gotta fit in. It's really good. It's not spicy, it's kind of bland, a little bit salty, very creamy. And yeah, they have some onions in here. Yeah, it's pretty good, guys. I got a dish with steak, plantains, beans, rice, and cucumbers and onions. So good. Oh, the Amazon River. Oh. Yeah. Level water, yeah, all is flooded. Oh, oh really? Oh, check, all check the trunk there. Oh, wow, you see like a mark, yeah, level of water. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, so we just went from Leticia, ate some food, bought some pants, and then we walked to another island in the middle here to come take a boat. I am. Um, Really sweating. My bag's here. Like the locals here aren't even breaking a sweat. And I'm like here dying. Look at my shirt. So here's the boat, guys. I'm gonna be taking this boat. Is it the best cookie? Yeah. Because normally uh, that cookie is. You eat it in, the, in December yeah. for, for Christmas. Oh. But festival making for all the year. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Mm. They're really good. It's like Oreos, but like Colombian style. Now we're gonna take the boat two or three hours. 
upstream to this place and then we're gonna take another boat to our lodge. The lady up front over there, she's calling people by area. So people who are closer, they're gonna sit more in the front and then they're gonna leave one by one, you know? The people on here. So many people on this boat. So everyone also gets a life jacket. And we are about to head out. It's a long time. It's like it took it's like 3 p.m. right now. And it took them a long time. But it's okay. You know we're enjoying every second of it. Alright guys, so we are on our boat. It took us like three hours to get here and then we stopped at um, somewhere like off roads here and somewhere random. We are going to the lodge, the uh, Naineku. Naineku? This is the name of the lodge, Naineku. Oh, Naineku, okay. It means the jungle it means... and Tikuna. Oh, this means... The Tikuna indigenous group. Okay. See, this is the biggest in, in, in this part of Colombia. Oh, yeah. So to the Tikuna tribe is the biggest, uh, largest uh, indigenous tribe in um, this part of Colombia and also the Amazon. So that's where we're going on this boat. Yeah. Put in this. We will put in this and you can see it on this. Oh, okay. The air is so fresh. Once you breathe in, it's like it goes through your lungs, go through your body. You feel so good. Once you look through the jungle here, it's so dense and there's a lot of vines. You can see the trees out here, but once you look inside, it's all dark. Look at that. Definitely when you come to the Amazon, be prepared and buy this. Mosquito repellent, I've already sprayed it on me. And also if you really want to get in, in depth with this, you can buy the um, malaria medicine. Oh my god, that bug just hit my ear. But malaria medicine. This is the Tatuna tribe, the San Juan team. All right there. Since the water level is lower, we're we're hitting all these um, tree trunks. Look at this, guys! So many tree trunks in the way. Oh, we're stuck. Okay, we're on this like sand. Yeah, we're really stuck. Three days ago, and he yeah. said it is start to more dry. Uh, you can literally see the bottom of this, guys. It's like all sand. I'm gonna move over and there we go. Oh, here's a monkey. Here's a monkey. Yeah, he's coming under. <laughs> he's coming under. Yeah, he's the woolly monkey. The baby. Oh. Get <laughs> So we made it to my room. The light that I have right here is a lamp that I had bought. There is no electricity. You got one bed, another bed here, and the twin bed, I think with the um, mosquito net. I'm gonna sleep in there. To the bathroom. This is the bathroom. 
open air bathroom and shower. But yeah, this is the room, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I am purely sweating right now. And I'm just gonna set up. So I bought this Columbia jacket because I know I'm in the rainforest and I'm gonna need it. Sandals, gonna need it <clears throat> for these five days. Also, the guy told me that at night I should, he does not recommend me to walk outside because it's very dangerous. And if I walk outside, I can get eaten or, eaten or something. Three bug sprays. Malaria medicine. Extra batteries, just in case. Got a headlamp. So once you come to the rainforest, you're gonna need one of these. Uh, it's getting really dark. It's uh, five. 50 right now. We're gonna go night trekking guys. This is the first day in the lodge and in the Amazon rainforest. Stay with me and let's go explore the nightlife before we get dinner afterwards. There's a huge gecko right there guys. And I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. There's bugs everywhere. <laughs> but it's okay. We're about to go. Let's do this. Okay, I got my 75 millimeter lens on so we can take some pictures. Going on the night trek in the Amazon rainforest, let's go. Going to hike at night. Careful. Need to check inside. Look, it's a spider when they have that green bump. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah right there. Spider at the green bump, yeah, I see it. Honey, honeybees. Honeybee? Yes. That will cut it up. Yeah, entrance is right there. Oh, sí, sí, ¿Por qué? ¿Tienes, tienes evidencia? Sí, decía. A ver, claro, señor. Ok, le digo. Mira. Sí. Ahí está. Wow. ¿Es eso un venomous? No. Uh, no, por that reason, fake coral. Because uh, coral, it's really poisonous. Uy, ya se lo metí. Se metió, se metió. Aquí vamos a apagar las luces, un poquito más adelante. Vamos a apagar las luz, luces totalmente. Wow. Yeah, you can't see anything at all. Como no realmente la gente o hasta por el momento lo utilizamos como para velas. Cuando no hay, cuando una persona no tiene energía, energía en la casa o más que todo energía en la casa, busca de esto, mm -hmm. de la cera. This is the sap of the tree. Yeah, the sap. We use it like a fuel. Oh. Yeah, for, for when we don't have, a, a, for example, candle. Yeah. We can use it this, but this sap of this tree is like a, a holy. Oh. Yeah, it's the same. For that reason, it's like enough Mira, holding. Si quieres, le haces probar. Él te lo llevamos para la casa para so, prenderlo. Smell. Oh, it smells, smells good. Yeah. It smells like... Lo utilizan en la... En la it smells like, like... En la iglesia para incienso. A lot of things. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Like mint, like... Tea, but... Everything. Uh, and all the smoke of this thing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it smells really good. And for its own indigenous group, this is oh. really... Important. It's like a holy thing. Yeah. yeah. You you can you can put in this is when you have a camp and th this is only for uh, scare out the the bad spirits. Okay. Si el joven pues deja caer al árbol lo gana la muchacha. Si no lo cae, si no lo hace caer paila. For example, uh, um, it's a young boy and he won um, asking the hand of the lady from some family. And the father said, "Okay, you want my my daughter? So yeah. you, I have some tree and my my craft. So you need to cut down, and when if you can't, you can have my my daughter." Oh, so this is the tree. See, sí. mm -hmm. that was time ago, no? Yeah, the tradition for time ago, and obviously it's yeah. really a tough tree. So it's a strong wood work. Mm. Very camouflage. See, <laughs> sí. really good eye. This is poison. Oh, poison? See. Si. Okay. It, it is, say it's in English, toad. 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 Uh-huh. Toad. Uh-huh. All 
Alright guys, we just made it back here to the lodge after eating amazing food. There were plantacon, which is like plantains, beans, rice, uh, carrots, and um, chicken. I just showered, now I am all set, ready to go to bed. However, I did want to reflect on my experience today. So after we came to the lodge, we left for a night trek. First, it was very scary because, you know, when you don't have any light, you can't even see the sky. All the trees are blocking you. There are tall trees, small trees, medium trees. There's no light at all and you hear crickets, frogs, monkeys, snakes. You don't know what's touching you. You don't know what's flying in your face. It's very scary. <laughs> But that's, it's very scary and to be here with the indigenous Tikuna tribe and living with their families here It is such a privilege for me to have this opportunity to come experience this You know, I think being here in their Amazon rainforest with no service allows me to Take a step back and look at my life from a broad perspective and see where I am What makes me happy and really allows me to ref self-reflect a lot on my experiences thus far first I always meditate before going to bed. Second, I pray to Buddha for five, 10 minutes and then maybe read a book and then I would fall asleep and go to bed. So for everyone watching, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting Jack Travels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit like and also hit subscribe if you like it. And tomorrow we are going on another adventure. We are going to swim in the Amazon rainforest. We are going to fish for piranhas. We are going to look at caimans. We are going to look at dolphins dolphins as well so definitely stay tuned in the next video